I'm using VRTK, an open source collection of scripts to build Unity VR projects to create a virtual museum. A custom script I have developed fades the artwork in and out so I can see where I'm going in the environment. Another script snaps the artwork to a wall and levels it. The artwork, which is to scale, can be developed in an external 3D modeling software and stored as a Unity prefab. Statues, when grabbed, are made transparent but do not snap to a surface when they are placed. A script on the hand controllers tracks my location. Based on this location, another script reads in available artwork from a list data structure and displays it on a menu as clickable buttons. This list was populated from a flat database file when the program is launched. When a button is clicked, that artwork appears in the scene and is ready to be displayed. Artwork can be hung and adjusted numerous times. Future development will shrink the menu down and make it display on the hand controller. The list data structure keeps track of whether artwork in a specific room has been displayed or not. If I display all the artwork in room 1, new buttons are loaded when I navigate to room 2. If I go back to room 1, the prior state of the room is loaded again.